Hey everyone, it's me, Crystal, and welcome back to... Hey everyone, welcome back to Crystal's Food Reviews and Other Things. And today, I'm going to be reviewing a new restaurant to me. It's not a new restaurant. I don't know how long it's been in business. And it's called Zaxby's. And somebody bought me a gift card, and I cannot remember who. But it says... I hope Crystal can eat here soon and has a heart. But they did not put their name. So if this was you, today's show is sponsored by you. And I thank you kindly. They gave me $25 and it says not no value until activated at the register. Well, they activated it because... They did not turn me down. And I've got my food tray here. I'm not going to show it because it has a little bit of debris on it. And if you saw it, you'd say, why are you eating off that? It's filthy. And I'd have to agree with you on that. So my server was Lamont S. So thank you to Lamont S. for fast, courteous service. On top of the bucket, we have napkins. Then we have this little thing. And as you can see here, there is a chicken. The reason there's a chicken is because this, this is a predominantly chicken restaurant. I don't know what Zaxby's has to do with a chicken. Maybe it means chicken in a different language. Not sure. The big reveal. These are cheddar bites. Fried white cheddar bites. And they have put some ranch in there for me because they know. Now, I'm going to start off by eating one of these cheddar bites because if anybody knows me, they know that I love cheddar and any kind of fried cheese thing. Let's put it in the sauce. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like a mozzarella stick. Mmm. Kind of makes me wish I had uh, some Mary, some of that red mariachi sauce. And of course I have, oh, look at this. This is a surprise to me. Never have I ever been to a restaurant that has a lime green straw. It's got a pretty good circumference. It's larger. The circumference is larger than a, a Taco Bell straw, but it's smaller than a McDonald's. Zach's piece. And it's got a heart of the world. Of course, we know the earth ain't shaped like that. Some people say the earth is flat. Well, you ain't gonna get that on my channel. I'm here to save the earth one step at a time. One sip at a time. The thing is, this is a foam cup. Ain't nobody saving the earth with this cup. This cup is biodegradable in four years. Damn, we all gonna be dead. Biodegrades under conditions that simulate both wetter and biologically active landfills using the ASTM D5511 test. Wetter or, or biologically active landfills may not exist in your area. The stated rate and content of de degradation do not... I can't see that word they have crossed out then the product will continue to decompose. So basically what they're saying is they're acting like this is biologically friendly when really you have to have the perfect conditions. 
And that might not exist in my area of Nashville, Tennessee. I love the straw and the and the earth colors match. Let's take a let's take a little thumbnail here with some cheese bites and some fake ass non biodegradable. This is gonna be in a landfill for four years. <gasps> worth it? It's worth it to have a cup like this though. Am I willing to sacrifice the earth to have a, a nice cold foam cup? Yes, indeed. What the hell do I care? I ain't gonna be around four years. Mm. Let's move on. Mm. I had to take off my headrest because it was messing with my hair. And as you can see, this headrest is turned backwards. They were really nice in that place. Sometimes you, when you say, hey, how you doing? Or, hi, how are you? They get surprised because I guess people don't ask them how they're doing. And that's just damn rude. Ooh. I love a piece of toast with some butter on it. Look at all this. Cold slaw. Chicken fingers. Crinkle cut fry. And in its own compartment, we got Zach sauce. That'll be new to me, because I don't... Tomato paste, corn syrup. Alrighty. I think what I should try first, since I'm a cold slaw connoisseur, is the cold slaw. Looks nice. Oh, crunchy. Is this thing falling? It's falling. I ain't doing this today. I'm trying to eat. Damn. What you got to do? Put Gorilla Glue on this damn thing? This thing comes off. I'm checking out and never coming back. This one has a bonus fry. I'm keeping my eye on this thing. Whoa, it's hot. Damn. I need some help. All right, let's open up. I'm really irritated. I can't see my beautiful uh, crystal airbrush shirt. Oh, this is red. You know what? This reminds me of um, Raisin Cane's sauce. This is a sea, this is a sea animal. This is a whale. Or an otter. Let's stick its dorsal fin in there. Don't like that taste. I'm gonna try it again though. Mmm. I don't like that sauce, damn. That's nasty. Ew. Why does my phone get so hot on here? <clears throat> Let's steal the ranch sauce from the... Mmm. That's good. I like that. Now look, my neighbor wrote down some questions for me on a notebook. I think maybe he may be urinated on this or spilt something on it. I do have a new neighbor. 
I'm not going to say his name for privacy reasons. He's a younger man. He's probably anywhere between 25 and 40. Knows how to use computers. Said he's never heard of AOL. And said he would upload my videos for $13 a week. So that's pretty good. First question was submitted by Andrea. Would you rather wrestle a chupacabra or do the one chip challenge? I think we know the answer to that. Oh my God, look at that. I'm... I have got to get a new thing here because this is, I'm trying to do something. It's like it starts melting. And I'm not going to be doing this every single time. The phone ain't that heavy. Cold slaw. What was I doing? I was trying to answer the question. I think we know before I even answer. I ain't doing no one chip challenge. Because... If this chip is so hot, you can only eat one, I'd pass away. And if I didn't pass away, I'd probably have such bad diarrhea, I probably wished I passed away. As far as wrestling a chupacabra, I don't even know what that is. What is a chupacabra? Is it some sort of beaver? Like a beaver type? There it goes. There it goes. You just stay. I'm just going to keep it there. I'm keeping it there. I'm keeping it there. I'm keeping it on the dashboard. How am I supposed to eat? Now look at this terrible angle. I'm so mad. I mean, who wants to see me look like this? Piece of crap. Let's try this fry. Now I, I can't even see if it's focused or not. I picked this. I picked that up. Oh, that's a good fry. I picked this particular um, phone thing because it was slim. And now I know better. I need a sturdy one. Man. Mad as hell. Now I got these disgusting rings on my uh, windshield. Anyway, as I was saying, a chupacabra, I don't know what it is. Nobody wants to hear that loud ass noise. Bread. Mmm. You put butter on something, I'm gonna eat it. That's for that's for damn sure. I'll eat it. I don't care what it is. Somebody's leg. Mmm. Mmm. How do you like this angle? All right. Mmm. This is actually really good. If I had the right sauces, 
maybe some ketchup, maybe uh, a honey mustard. I could do this. When you're watching this video, go to Amazon and write a review on this thing and say it sucks and it falls off the window and puts circles on there. Let's do something. Let's do this. Let's take a cheese bite, wrap it in this bread. Looks like a corn dog and take a bite. Mmm. Double the greasiness. Mmm. Buttery. It's really buttery. Tammy's been gone this whole time. And me and Beth, we just... Well, of course, Beth just works all day. But we just sit on the porch and talk. And Yesterday, we was sitting out there. And I have a pair of binoculars now to look at... um To look at the birds and um because they're you know you you can see the neighbors when you look at them but that's for their own privacy but i'm looking at the birds all of a sudden we hear this <laughs> bam a car accident up the street and it sounded terrible it sounded like you know sounded like somebody had been killed so we hopped in the car and went up there not for nosiness reasons but just to see if everybody's okay everybody was fine but the man's axle broke it looked like the tire was you know turned laying on the ground like this Everybody's okay, so we just went on back to the house. Ten minutes later, we see him driving by in the same truck. So I don't know if it was a work of God or what, but somehow he affixed that axle, got that tire back on there, and drove on down the street. What I need is whatever glue, adhesive he used to put that tire back on, that's what I need to put up here on my windshield to keep this this thing from falling off. Now around me I got a Walmart, Big Lots, Dollar Tree, place called Dick's. Dick's. Sporting goods. I don't think they sell sporting goods in there. I think they sell Dick's. Hmm. Well, I don't need to go to the store and get a dick, that's for sure. And it says pay less shoe source. There ain't no more pay less. And there ain't nothing better than the pay less. Nice selection of shoes. You can get them yourself. Because back in the day, when I was younger, we'd have to go in the shoe store, see the shoe we want, sit down, the man would take that metal thing put it on your foot and move it and check your size even though you say sir i'm size 10 and a half he, he's still gonna check it that's his job then he's gonna run to the back find said pair of shoes put the shoe on your foot and then you have to get up and walk around and see if you like it now you could go into the pay less shoe source get your own pair of shoes and put it on your own foot and you can use that metal shoe foot measure it's got the shape of the foot on there. Those was the days, though. I bet all the foot fetish guys are mad because they don't get to do that no more. They don't get to just, you know, sniff people's feet. Or... And I'm not mad at a person with the, a foot fetish. I don't care. Whatever. I'm not going to kink shame nobody. You want to take my foot and put it in your mouth? Go ahead. You want me to take my foot and rub your chest with it? I'll do it. What do I care? 
What I don't like, though, is when I put a picture on Instagram and everybody says, everybody send me a message, ooh, your feet, ooh, your feet. This ain't a post about my feet. This is a post about me going to church in my sandals. Or this is a post about me watching a TV program sitting on the couch. Let's see what we got over here on this. Jessica wants to know, have you ever killed anyone? Have I ever killed anyone? Well, it would be stupid of me if by chance I had killed someone. It'd be stupid of me to say it on air. I am secondly there's different kinds of killing. They're all against the law, but you know, there's manslaughter, there's straight up murder, there's straight up murder with intent and all this other stuff. And it, if I had killed someone, which I have it, it'd probably be accidental. Because I'm not trying to kill nobody. First of all, I'm not trying to go to jail. Everybody knows that. I'm not trying to go to jail. I'm not trying to go through a court of law and be on a trial and have people cross-examining and say, where were you on this night? Hell, I can't even remember where I was yesterday. How am I supposed to know where I was two years ago? And they'll say, well, you're... Your phone pinged at, at this tower. Okay. I drive all over town. That don't mean I killed somebody. Well, we found your uh, DNA at this site. Okay. I'm a squirter. You know, I shed. My, ha my hair sheds. My DNA could appear anywhere. So no, I haven't ever killed anyone, and that seems like a strange... Do you know something, Jessica, that I don't know? That's all I'm saying. I'm not in the business of killing people. Heck, I don't even like to fight. I will, you know, if I have to, I'll throw hands. But the thing when you get in a fight, you know, messes up your hair and get a black eye, maybe knock a tooth out. And I just got all these tooth back in my head. I ain't trying to get tooth missing, teeth missing again. So, no, I ain't never killed nobody. Even somebody as despicable as... Is Rodney, um, who did what he did, damn, that's a big old bus. It's like two buses hooked together, and then they put one of them instruments in the middle of them. Accordions. They took a bus, a bus, and then put an instrument. Really a lot of activity going on over here. And I need to get my glasses back because I cannot see. I don't know where they are. I don't know if Harry has them. Really a lot of activity. I need my binoculars to really see what's going on. I tell you what, Beth has the house looking so spooky. She got ghost pumpkins. She got ghosts that are cosplaying as witches and pumpkins. She's got about 50 pumpkins on the porch. Real ones, fake ones, every color. She has a ghost that goes across the porch and just goes, ooh. She has chandelier with pumpkins hanging off of it. She has 
What else she got out there? A gnome that's dressed up as a witch. A candy corn gnome. I mean, she's just going crazy. And I'll just be sitting out there on the porch and that damn ghost will start moving on its own. I have one decoration and one decoration only. And it's a skeletal man. No skin on him whatsoever inside a little cage. And you, you push the button and it goes, hey, let me out of here. This ain't a joke. Let me out of here. Then it's, it just makes me laugh every single time. And I'm thinking, this fella ain't never getting out of here. And if he's already skin and bones, that's it for him. Let's look at my shirt. Got this in Daytona. It's got my name and it's got Tweety Bird on a beach. Really cute. Really nice angle that I'm at right now. Last question, because I'm about to wrap it up. And it's hot here. Crystal, what do you do when you start feeling depressed? And that's from Natalie. When I, when I can sense I'm getting depressed, there's two things that can happen. And they're both okay with me. One thing is... I'll sort of withdraw within myself, give myself time to, to sleep, to rest, to recover. And the other option, excuse me, I feel like I was going to sneeze. The other option I'll do is I'll sit down on the edge of my bed. And some people, this is how they pray. And my grandmother used to sit on the edge of the bed and pray with her Bible. But I say to myself, Crystal, Get your ass in gear. Because there's two different kinds of self-care that you need. There's tough love and then there's just love. The tough love, I say, Crystal, get your ass out of this bed. Put your clothes on. Take a shower. Well, first take a shower. Get your clothes on. And do something. And stop sitting around here. Because that's only going to make it worse. So then, you know, I try to just, even though it's hard, sometimes it takes every ounce of energy in your body. Maybe just to do one thing, and that one thing might be, this is gross, but I got to blow my nose. I'll just suck it in. It might take every ounce of energy that I have just to take a shower. And then I'll be kind to myself and say, okay, you did it. You did your one thing. Relax. Take care of yourself. Um, as far as, you know, the other self-care, watch a movie. Listen to some good music. And don't be listening to sad music because sometimes I'll turn that sad music on and it makes it even worse. And I had to make myself be hospitalized. Uh, sometimes I have to reach out to a friend. Say, hey, I'm not feeling so good. Can you sort of help me out here? Well, that's the thing with clinical depression. Honey, it will lie to you. It'll tell you nobody loves you, nobody cares, your father and everybody. Depression is a bitch that'll lie all day. She don't give up. She don't give it up. Uh, uh, you know what? That's what she does. You're garbage. This you you stink. Your hair is ugly. You eat too much fast food. She might say that and she ain't wrong. And I'm referring to depression as a she. It is genderless. It has no gender. But she is a lying, and that's the same thing with anxiety. Anxiety will lie all day to you until y'all kind of bull crap. That's, oh my God, she's driving with the skeleton. 
she had a skeleton in her passenger seat. I'm going to Home Depot right after this and buying a skeleton because he was like this. I'm getting a skeleton in my car today. How can you be depressed when you have a skeleton man or woman <laughs> sitting in the car? That was the brave. That made me so happy. That made me so happy. A skeleton. <laughs> it reminds me of Safety Man. I don't know if I've ever talked about Safety Man, but my Safety Man, I probably talked about him last time. Safety Man was a, 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 a fake man you could buy in the 90s, late 80s. You could set him in, <laughs> in your passenger car. It's for a woman that way, you know, because men always bothering women. That's what men love to do. Say, hey, honey, looking good. Make us feel unsafe. But anyway, you put safety pin <laughs> in the seat next to you and then people won't bother you. But safety man was, had a nice little beard, a hat you could try dress them up in different outfits but that's even better than safety man because he's spooky nobody's gonna mess with the skeleton and people say well he ain't even got no bones what's he gonna do he's myth he's a not mythical but you know he's a skeleton they're capable of many things that made me so happy I wish that lady would drive by again <laughs> I'm putting a wig on my skeleton. <laughs> she had a skeleton. She had a damn skeleton. Well, I'm going to wrap it up because I got to get me a skeleton. She had a skeleton. <sighs> get yourself a skeleton. I hope when I watch this video, oh, you can't see nothing. It's ridiculous. I hope. <laughs> I don't know why I think a skeleton is so funny. It's because it's a person that no longer has any hair, skin, bones, nerves. It's just bones. And for some reason, that just brings me joy. When I was a child, I called skeleton bone men. Because how could you not? They're men or women that have bones. I wonder how much that skeleton's going to run me. Anyway, thank you for joining me for another crystals, food reviews, and other things. A couple people have said, hey, Crystal, are you going to do a Halloween video this year? Yes, I'm going to, if, if they have the Halloween display in St. Louis again, I'm going to drive there and do it. Um, I also want to do another one. Morally, I don't know how I feel about this because it's animals, but I'm going to see, I'm going to see about it. It's another drive through But, um... Damn, I can't wait to get this skeleton. <laughs> but thanks again for joining me. And sorry about this camera angle. Hopefully there's no boogers in my nose. And hopefully you cannot see that chin's hairs that I have. Alright, talk to you later. Bye bye. That is the greatest. A skeleton. Who knew a skeleton could bring such joy? <laughs>